spring. You made it. Let's go. Knock, knock, knocking on some dogs. See? You we realize, can totally make a you song. realize turkey season is <laughs> over, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I'm going east. I'm going south and west. Wait, no. South and east. You're locked on the bean. Alright, here's the game plan. It's about 4.30 right now. We're headed to the bean field probably around 7 o'clock and glass that and kind of put a game plan together to hang stands tomorrow morning. But we're going to go knock on some doors while we have some downtime and uh, try to expand our territory a little bit. But divide and conquer. Hey, yeah. 20 bucks to the first person that lands. First person they get a spot wants 20 bucks? Yep. How about just most spots? First person to get a spot. Send it, send it text to the group. First person to get a spot. I'm winning that 20 bucks. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to the closest spot I can find that's going to have beer. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> you, you cut me off. You better not be going where I'm going. Pulling up to spot number one. Oh no. I ain't walking down that driveway. Violators will be shot. Zero tolerance. Not a good sign. <laughs> Dude, if we can get this place, this place is money. Super nice guy. Uh, was kind enough to even show me three big bucks he had standing in his field yesterday afternoon. But no go on hunting, so. Look, four more turkeys right here. I didn't see him. Coley? Yes, sir. <laughs> he knows what that he knows what that phone call is. Your call has been forwarded. Oh, oh, yeah, he don't even want to answer it. I'll go ahead and send him a text. <laughs> and there's nobody else has permission, so you can uh, you can tell him to check with me if anybody's there. Okay. That sounds perfect. I, I appreciate it. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Let's go, baby! Nobody hunts here. That's 300 acres of crop fields, and there's a deer stand on the hill right here. Dude, this is like a dream spot. All this ag, man. Jay just called me, too. I got to call him back. He's probably, <laughs> as I was getting permission, he was calling me, probably, probably trying to tell me that he got permission. Got him. All right, what you got? Just landed five, and now we're working on the neighbors. I just landed one too. We beat you to it. No, no. Yep. That's no, why you I didn't. Hand sent you a text. No, 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 yep. no. As you were uh -uh. calling He's me. Backing out of this one. At, no, nope. no, Jay. Uh -uh. Hear me out. That's a tie. So how long? Three hundred acres, man. That's a lot for real. Yeah. Don't get any ideas. You ain't sharing. I ain't sharing. See. Mm -mm. <laughs> 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 all right y'all want y'all want to come check it out with me yeah give me the pen all right i'll send it to you are you freaking kidding me is that a joke does he see is that the pen? does he see where we are what i i just looked at that. that yeah that's the one i showed you that we were about to go to this that was our next stop dude literally it is our next stop <laughs> we're right next door to you you said you were going I don't know, dude. We were driving around. I saw this huge farm. I was like, dang, that looks like a good spot. <laughs> there is no freaking way. All right, well, I'll see you in a second. <laughs> hey, if you ain't first, you're last. That is a buck. That ain't a bad buck either. Well, let me see this. You're gonna be hunting a 200, so go ahead and uh, put some cameras out on this place for us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let y'all hunt my spot, maybe. You know, once you've tagged out. <laughs> Dude, he's like walking through all the grass. It's so cool, man. That was awesome. Y'all run along now. Go get you some some more little small spots. What are you What are you gonna do? Are you gonna walk this? I'm done. Are you gonna take off? I'm done. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at the place. Well, I wanna get. No. You take my truck. Not without my permissions. If you're going. I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> team mom's. Team mom's mad, upset with me. <laughs> Can't have that. Yeah, 
that's an old thing. But like blessed is the one who trusts in the down. Lord, whose confidence is in him. There will be like a tree planted by the water that sends its roots out by the stream. It does not fear when it heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought, because it never fails to bear fruit. I saw it on the you think, too. You think this farm could bear fruit? Maybe some vegetables. <laughs> I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> and you, Kendall. Hey. Jay's being a trader. He's uh, he's being complacent. He's satisfied with the property that Lee got. He's ditched me on the the bean field apparently. So oh. I might open the door for you. Hey, great. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go knock on some more doors because yeah. you can never have you can never have too much permission. Yeah. I And he's at it again. Sweet home. I freaking love this place. It is absolutely beautiful out here. A couple does on the way in, right here behind us. And uh, Lee and Jay have been out here for about 15 minutes. They said they don't see anything out in the field yet, but they'll be out here tonight for sure. I literally, just, I literally just saw a rat come up out of the grass. For those of y'all who haven't really followed along on our Nashville journeys, this is a farm that Jay actually landed the very first trip we came up here. But the first year we were out here, there was a buck. He was probably 180 inches. We both, you shot at him. I had him right under my tree, but it's too dark. And then the next year, I was the only one that hunted out here and he was for sure 200 inches in velvet. The next year, went way downhill. I think he had a leg injury and he turned into a seven pointer, a big seven pointer. And uh, unfortunately he's even gone more downhill this year, but that deer has to be eight, nine, 10 years old. Last year, I finally realized that there's no way to access like any of this, the back of the field without taking a, a kayak down the river. So I'll be doing that again. And it's a huge pain, but it's literally the only way you can get in without blowing deer out because you can't just walk down the edge of the field. There's like eight, seven or eight bucks in the ditch last night in front of my camera. They're, bunch, they're, probably I mean, they're, in the back they're out here. Yeah, yeah might be in that back field. I think a lot of times they come out like hour, hour and a half before dark, and then they get in the woods before, like this time they're already in the woods. Yeah. Or they go to that backfield. That's what I told Jay. I, th I think if we'd have been here an hour earlier, we'd yeah. have seen them all out here. Maybe hey, I got an idea. Mm. Since you owe me 20 bucks, you mm. can buy my dinner. No. We you owe me twenty you bucks. For, we no. We I even said you who first. owes me twenty bucks. I sent it. Whoever owes me twenty bucks, y'all can just buy my dinner. We'll call it even. <laughs> Sound fair? We were hoping to get out here early this morning to glass a little bit, but it's, it's extremely foggy. What is it with you and the birds? That's the little, see that little call right there, man? They love that.
you had a decoy, he would have come all the way in. Could have got him. I mean, you know, 15 yards. Close enough. You have good spurs on him? Uh, he looked a little young, to be honest with you. No, 12, 15. Oh, great. That might be a new one that moved in. I like new deer. But I don't, I'm not certain that's the, the wide one. There might be another one that's like 20 inches wide. This farm's weird though, because like sometimes the deer just have like their, their patterns and they'll go straight across the field and stay on that side and never show up like down here. So the best way to scout a place like this is just glassing which we're gonna do if this fog burns off. Hot dogs or legs? Where are we going? On to the next one. Okay, on to the next one. So you see it There was even a bigger one on the other side of that house there, so uh, we, I'm marking the address now. Jay definitely would have gone from 6 to midnight. <laughs> Can't about deer hunt. Well, mission accomplished. I can go home now. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, no, four big hens and one, two, three, four, five, five poults standing on a wall that was built 100 years ago. More than that, probably. Yeah, maybe. There's no tell. I don't know how old this stuff is around here. Man, that's pretty. They're all bucks. I see another one in the back right there. He got some junk on him, boy. The seven? Yes, sir. Yeah. He's got a split brow on his left side. Yeah, that's definitely him. 100% because he had a split brow last year, too. And you went downhill. All right, y'all. We just... Uh, you still got some growing to do. We had a little bit of a breakthrough. God, that seven-pointer's funky looking now. It's pretty. I've spent a lot of time and effort chasing that joker right there. Mm. It would have been sweet to kill him when he was like 200 inches, but definitely got a good look at I don't really, at this point, I don't even care. All right. Just the story behind that deer is insane. Yeah, I'm with you. Sort of kind of got a plan. Maybe. <laughs> what in the world? Yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do. Hey man, can we get a golf cart to get in here and see if we can access one of our stands? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Sure. <laughs> Have at it, man. Yep. All right. So what are we actually doing? Right here. We okay. So we concocted a pretty extravagant yeah. plan. So we came up with a plan to access the stand where we saw the bucks at yesterday but we need to do it to do it perfect we need to do it from a golf course essentially this stands impossible to access unless we get from the river the problem with the river is you can't up, the only way to get in is like a half mile upstream or get access from this golf course to basically pull the new canoes up on the bank 
and then take a cart all the way down to the river, hop in the kayaks and ferry across. I hope we're going the right way here. What's the cart path rules? I think that's it right there, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's down that way? Yeah. Anyway, we're, uh... Hello. So that's, that's the main field right there by the road. Hold a little bit to the right. Walking through that shot. There she goes. Look at this. Money. Good shot. <laughs> I love the old golf club while we're deer hunting. This, this is called VIP service right here when you call ahead and they get the mower out and mow your lane to the stand. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Let me get that one. Where do you get a staircase? I mean, literally, I'm looking at the tree. Yeah, that's it. I mean, the second one in right there is the tree. The bean field's right there. I mean, what's the chances that we would have a staircase coming straight down from the court? First of all, that the court's even say, Oh, yeah, sure. Appreciate you putting stand up. Yep, no problem. Now for the fun part. Not bad. On, on belay. On belay. We're good. There's probably snakes all on this bank. <laughs> no. There we go. All the way to it. Well, maybe. That'll work. And then you have a long walk to the stand. <laughs> this maybe. is literally the only way we can do this. I mean, this deer is too smart. Yeah. He's so, lived on this farm for probably eight right. plus years. Yeah, we so just got to bring the uh, saddles when we come back. Two saddles. Hang two platforms. Yep. Be good to go. Yep, we'll do it.